we present adaptive rigidification of elastic solids. Simulating elastic bodies is computationally costly. This is due to the high number of degrees of freedom needed to represent the deformation map accurately. In this paper, we show how to reduce this cost by treating connected sets of non-deforming elements as rigid bodies. Non-deforming elements are identified based on the strain rate, and we used a fast and approximate method to determine when elements must elastify. Here is a slow motion video where we plot the histograms of the strain rate and approximate strain rate. In this cantilever test scenario, we have noticed a direct trade-off between speed and accuracy. The elastification threshold allows the user to set the level of details according to their needs. Using a conservative threshold, it is possible to reproduce exactly the elastic scene. Any parameter that affects the change in deformation over time, like stiffness and damping, can allow for a more aggressive rigidification of the mesh. Rigid portion of the mesh can elastify in response to an external force. We show that it is possible to use a single iteration of a preconditioned conjugate gradient to detect regions in need of waking. Our method supports local elastification and rigidification in response to external forces, such as those arising from contacts. Each impact elastifies a different local patch of the mattress mesh with size proportional to the total force at impact. Even in highly deforming scenes, it is unlikely that all the elements are always deforming. We capture and optimize those regions. Our technique is also agnostic to element inversion. and demonstration of the local capabilities of this method. Take a look at the tentacles of this octopus. Enjoy the elastifying tentacle as we pull on it. Note the excellent agreement between the adaptive and non-adaptive outputs. Our technique works well on objects with heterogeneous materials. This wheel has a stiff steel hub and a rubber-like tire. Notice that the hub remains rigid for most of this animation. Adaptive rigidification is especially beneficial for oscillatory motions. Rigid objects can be integrated in a geometrically correct way, which reduces numerical damping. Compared to other techniques, adaptive rigidification allows for moving objects to be optimized. See how the different capsules are rigidifying as they slide down the ramps. Note that the pills are made out of heterogeneous materials. We add an orange tint to show rigidified regions. Adaptive rigidification really shines in large scenes with local deformation. Every tree in this forest is a finite element object, and hitting individual trees create appropriate waking behavior. 